risk-taking behavior in adolescence. Adolescence has been associated with troublesome and uncontrollable behavior for a long time. Back in 350 BC, Aristotle described young people as hot-tempered and quick-tempered and apt to give way to their anger. Although many pieces of research have been conducted that showed an increase in risk-taking among adolescents, there have not been as many that analyzed its relationship with aging and maturation. Moreover, differences in socioeconomic environments were often dismissed during early youth behavioral studies, assuming that children from high-income families are at lower risk compared to their middle-class and low-income counterparts. Since a significant increase in teen suicide and overall depression rates has been seen over the past decades, the issue of adolescent risk-taking and the reasons behind it should be carefully addressed. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, focuses on human health and services, having different departments responsible for distinct social issues, and actively taking action to help youth overcome life-challenging and threatening experiences. Since 2007, the organization has surveyed young people to calculate and present the trends in their risk behavior, considering sexual behavior, drug use, violence, and mental health. This paper focuses on two risk behaviors, suicide and drug use, describes the findings from the CDC, and tries to explain the reasons behind them. The issue of mental health, especially among teens, has become a major social issue and has started to be addressed widely in recent years. According to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the current trend in youth mental well-being is going in the wrong direction with a significant increase in the number of young people feeling continuously helpless, considering suicide, and getting injured in a suicide attempt. The report also emphasizes that these tendencies can result in and are associated with being bullied, using high-risk substances, and having unprotected sex. In an attempt to unfold the issue, Steinberg approached risk behavioral tendencies from a neuroscience perspective that connects risk-taking with different brain activities and changes. His study discovered and confirmed that there is a positive relationship between impulsive behavior and maturation. The study also concluded that reward and sensation-seeking peaks during mid-adolescence. This discovery can be tightly related to the state of teen mental health, as Luther writes that the developing culture of materialism brings distress instead of commonly believed happiness. Higher expectations and the contemporary pursuit of wealth and affluence become a burden on youth and can lead to feelings of continuous sadness and depression. In turn, this results in suicide planning and ideation increase among adolescent communities. Deriving from the developing mental health problem, the issue of drug use remains and requires attention. Although the number of young people using high-risk substances and injecting illegal ones is decreasing, work on education and use prevention must continue. The report also states that substance use during adolescence is related to a wide variety of negative outcomes, such as STDs, including HIV. Similar to increasing mental health and depression rates, the problem of drug use, such as cocaine, inhalants, heroin, methamphetamines, hallucinogens, or ecstasy can be related to the reward-seeking and impulsive behavior among teens. Luther also writes that substance use is more common among adolescents from wealthier communities compared to their low-income counterparts. The developing socioeconomic environments affect young populations, both mentally and financially. Steinberg claims that changes in dopamine that play a critical role in the brain's reward circuitry during adolescence increase the need for external stimulation. High-risk substance use, being connected to the unpleasant trend in depression and feelings of helplessness, becomes a short-term solution to the youth's long-lasting problem. Moreover, as Americans have far more luxuries than they had in the 1950s, the improved state of society's wealth provides more opportunities for adolescents to access and purchase high-risk substances. Thus, drug use is tightly related to the need of youth for rewards and acceptance and the problem of mental health. While some teens choose not to engage in such activity protected by their safe environments, others see drugs and suicide as a saviors from their toxic families and communities. Adolescence has always been linked to problematic times and hot-tempered feelings among young people. Even the great philosophers of ancient Greece have addressed this issue. Recent research has shown and confirmed the relationship between adolescence and risk-taking behavior. 
such an increase during mid-adolescence is associated with the need for youth for reward and social acceptance, which is fueled by the developing culture of wealth and affluence. Despite the decreasing trend in high-risk substance use and injection, the problem remains and requires careful attention. CDC is an organization that is actively taking action to tackle these social problems. Their biannual research provides great insight into youth risk behavior and acts as a guide for the improvement of education and ensuring a healthy society.